do you trust me? Uh, welcome to Mullane Trust. Uh, well, Mullane versus Central Hanover Trust, Bank and Trust, yada, 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 yada. Okay, so a trust is turned into a common trust by uh, uh, multiple trusts. That means nothing. Don't worry about it. So uh, the bank is informed by its trustees. Uh, you know, sorry, the bank informs the trustees by a newspaper. You know, this is called constructive notice. And um, the court says, whoa, 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 no. The right to be heard is essential and has little reality if a person has not been informed, right? For a court to hold sway, you have to have a reasonable notice to both parties, um, right? You know, and so then they have a bunch of arguments, right? First thing, is there jurisdiction? Yes, there's jurisdiction in this case because the trust exists under New York law, right? So this is an in-rem case because there's um, property rights involved. So notice must follow in-rem procedures, right? And so the court comes down and gives a couple principles, right? So this notice needs to be of the nature to convey the information and of such time to give people time to prepare and schedule their appearance, right? If these are not, if these are not met, the notice is unsound, right? Effective notice is important, important, right? There's, the court's not going to force you to make notice in a specific way, but... You know, notice has to come in a reasonable way. There's a specific test we'll get to in just a second, but um, the odds that a local newspaper publication would reach these people was low because they're out of state. And, you know, people whose addresses or benefits are unknown, yeah, you can alert them through print. But if you know someone's address, you need to send them a letter, okay? You have to send them a letter or do a service through an agency. There's agencies for this, right? Notice has to come in a reasonable way. The test is simple. It should be as though it is desirable for the served parties to receive it. So they're saying, right, is if if the party that you don't want to show up, you need to treat them like you want them to show up. You need to send them whatever it is you would send to someone you are desperate to get to a you know, If you need this witness, you know, you're going to send an agency after them. Well, send an agency after the people you don't want to show up. Cover your ass. <laughs> Otherwise, you're you get show up and you get that default judgment because they didn't show up. Eh, it's not gonna hold up in the next court.